Hey, Matt, I made some coffee. Matt? Wait a second. If he's not here, and I'm here, and it's Monday, does that mean... It's Michigan Monday! This is the theme song of Michigan Mondays. Yeah, Michigan Mondays. Welcome back to Michigan Mondays, the only show dedicated to bringing the glories of Michigan to you, the viewer. I am Michigan Matt, your humble and terrific host. Today we're going to look at a lake that has a bit of a superiority complex. Lake Superior. But first, it's February in Michigan, so let's take a look outside at the weather. It's getting warmer. Still kind of cold, though. Thanks, weather, Matt. Nestled on the northern shores of Michigan's Upper Peninsula is Lake Superior, the largest lake in the world by surface area. Lake Superior has an average depth of 483 feet and a maximum depth of 1,332 feet meaning if you put the Chrysler Building from New York at the deepest part of Lake Superior, there would still be 286 feet above it. The maximum length of Lake Superior is 350 miles, and the width is 160 miles, making it just about the size of South Carolina. It consists of 2,900 cubic miles of water, which take about 191 years to cycle through one hydrological cycle. Lake Superior is bordered by Canada and Minnesota to the north, as well as Wisconsin and, most importantly, Michigan to the south. Some notable islands within Lake Superior are Isle Royal National Park, an unadulterated forest park. There's also Michipikatan Island off the coast of Canada, and the Apostle Island Archipelago off the coast of Wisconsin. Unlike the other lakes that we've looked at so far, Lake Superior was not named after its original inhabitants. The Ojibwe who lived there originally called it Gijigami, which means a great sea. When the French came in in the early 1700s, they renamed it Lac Superior because it was above the other lakes. And when the British took over in 1760, after the French and Indian War, they renamed it Lake Superior because it was the largest lake they had come across. If you want to learn more about Lake Superior, check out the Wikipedia page, which is where I gathered all the facts for today. I also have links for a video here to a time lapse of the Sioux Locks, which is located on the St. Mary's, Mary's River, which is one of the major outlets of Lake Superior. And here is a link to Gordon Lightfoot's uh, wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald, a tragic shipwreck that happened just off the coast of Whitefish Point. Both of those topics are good for another episode of Michigan Mondays. Michigan Mondays is brought to you by Xandermax Productions, a division of Wife Equals Always Right Incorporated, as well as these fine sponsors here. Where are the sponsors? We don't have any. We don't have any. We should probably get some. Working on it. Click that like button if you learned something new. Click that subscribe button to become an honorary Michiganders and keep up to date on all the videos put out here at Xandermax Production. Also, check the doobly-doo for links to other things that we're doing. And I have been Michigan Matt, this has been Michigan Monday, and until next time, have a good one.